good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your location welcome to our channel the apc ruling party and buhari have failed nigeria says samuel Otum. the details governor samuel Autumn of Benue State yesterday said the ruling or progressive Congress APC have failed Nigeria economically, security-wise, socially, and politically. The governor also said that despite all security challenges in the country, the People's Democratic Party, which is the opposition party, is still working and demonstrating leadership. The Benue governor spoke at the commissioning of a 65-kilometer road constructed by the administration of governor she Makinde, which was held in akinyele local government secretariat monia ibado describing himself as a man who stands and seeks justice equity and fairness in all things autumn challenged the apc led federal government to provide the needed leadership for this country saying our people are in pain Uyo and indeed the yoruba nation have always stood with and supported the oppressed and have always been the voice of the oppressed in the country right from the in, from inception that is what i stand for i seek justice equity and fairness for those who fear that samuel autumn is talking too much i want to appeal to them to give me justice give our people justice give our people fairness and ensure equity i promise you that I will never say anything again, Autumn added. He called on the APC led federal government to rise up and give leadership to the country, noting that the situation was not as bad as it is today when the party took over in 2015. The governor continued, Let me once again call on the APC led federal government to rise up and give leadership. Our people are in pain from the north. East, North Central, North West, South South, South East, and South West. Everyone is faced with security challenges. Without security, there can be no meaningful development except in the PDP controlled states. I want to challenge the APC in this country because they have failed economically, security wise, socially, and politically. The APC government is in deficit. Government is all about providing security for lives and property. Government is about providing infrastructure like the one we are doing here today. Today, I am here in your state. My brother Martin there was in Adamawa, a PDP control state earlier to commission a project and lay the foundation. Go to rivers every day. What you see is laying of projects or commissioning of projects. The same thing in Bauchi State. Go to Sokoto, other PDP controlled states. You will see development. That is what leadership is. And that is what the people of Nigeria are yearning for. Lord in marking down his efforts, Autumn urged him, urged him never to contemplate leaving the people, but walk with them and do what they want and share in their pains. He added, I commend my brother that within the span of two years, we are here to commission, among others, a 65 kilometer of roads, duly asphaltic, with a guarantee of 20 years. I congratulate my brother. Well, this is uh, Samuel Autumn, the governor of Benue State, um, in Oyo State, to commission a project and is uh, lampooning the APC-led government and the President Mohamed Buhari for having failed Nigeria security-wise, economic-wise, social-wise, and politically. We know this governor that, um, like he said, he stands for justice, equity, and fairness. Um, we don't have any proof of that, but we know that he's asking for these things. Because he is one governor that speaks uh, truth to power. He has stood up on behalf of the people of Benue State on several occasions and directly addressed the president and asked the hard questions that most governors have refused to ask, who are also uh, suffering the same kind of security challenges that uh, Governor Autumn is uh, facing. 
but let's face it actually Benway people have paid quite a lot of price uh, since 2015 I think it is safe to say that Benway has the highest number of um, refugees refugees don't mind the uh, baptismal name or the nice sounding name that they gave it as IDP, internal displaced people. There are no IDPs as far as we know. What we have is refugees. Because they are within Nigeria does not mean that there are no more refugees. If Benue was sharing boundary with Cameroon, Ghana, or a nearby country, they would definitely cross over to the border. So they are refugees. No matter how you try to um, minimize the impact of uh, what the people are suffering, there has been so much killing, so much blood has been shed in Benue. It is mind-boggling. And the, 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 the wickedness of the government can be seen in what is happening in Benue State because they don't even make a statement. No empathy shown to the people. No sympathy extended to the people of Benue State. They kill them in numbers. Last week, about uh, 30, we are slaughtered again. By who? Fulani has men. Fulani has men. They drive them away from their villages. They take over the villages. The army doesn't attack the Fulani has men who are killing these people. Rather, the army will escort Benue people to a refugee camp. Last time, they even, the, the Fulani's, after having taken over their villages, even went as far as going to the refugee camp to still kill some of them. It is it is really a pity, a pity. I think the governor is justified in saying that uh, the government has failed. They have failed the people of Benue State. Let us say it the way it is. Well, um, we invite you to our comment section to make your comments, say what you think about uh, the position of the governor of Benue State whether he's right or wrong, or whatever you want to say, come to our comment section and do that. We appreciate you for coming to listen to our channel, and we invite you please to kindly subscribe because we have good stories to bring to you, and we will keep updating you as events develop in Nigeria. Please also click on the notification bell so that when we publish any news, you will be the first to receive it. You don't need to search for it. It will come directly into your inbox. Thank you so much for coming to our channel and remain blessed until we come again with more news.